How do you handle the expectation of being available 24 seven? How strict are you about doing business on your personal time? In the beginning, I didn't have any personal time. I was running with my head like a chicken cut off. I think that's the same, something like that. I'm not really good with those, but that's what I was doing. I was buck wild, okay? I was here, I was there, I was late to this appointment. But what I did was I got an assistant and um, they helped get me organized and they helped me understand that I need some of that personal time. Um, some people will say, hey, you're all about hustle, Tyler. You should be available 24 seven. When you make yourself available 24 seven, your clients are gonna call you 24 seven. I promise you it happened. I used to be the call me anytime, I'm here to get the deal done, call me, call me, call me. And guess what happened? They would call me, call me, and call me. So when it was just me, I finally said, I'm gonna set up a time where I'm available. After this time, if a message is left, I'll call you back the next day at 8 a.m. If it's emergency, let me know and I will call you back at my earliest convenience. I said that on my voicemail and I set the expectation for my client. A lot of you are so afraid that you're gonna lose a deal or the buyer or the seller's not gonna like you because you're not available 24 seven, yet guess what, at home your marriage sucks, right? So you're pleasing your buyer but you're not pleasing your husband or your wife. So I would say you need to set those expectations if it's just you, you're a one woman man shop. Now, when I got a team, um, an assistant, a buyer's agent, a listing coordinator, uh, another assistant, they were available over the hours that I was not. So I started with it was me setting expectations, especially on my voicemail to my client, and then I had my team always available during after hours and things like that, and that's how we ran it. And I think that if you don't set those expectations, it will crumble you. So in the end, yes, definitely uh, I would recommend uh, making sure you set some time aside for non-real estate items.